Hello guys, good evening everyone Now you are listening to Safi News Podcast A podcast that can be your sad night soulmate With me Mulan, that will accompany your Saturday night With this episode of our podcast Life has been tough lately, right guys? Maybe some of you are struggling with college problems Or there are family problems, problems with friend or partner and so on Whatever you are facing, don't forget to love yourself, okay? Because mental health is matter, guys Talking about mental health, do you guys know why has this issue recently become so much discussed? It is because nowadays more and more people see the urgency of the discussion. Understanding mental health and well-being is more important than ever. As the modern world demands more of our attention, we are more separated from our illness and well-being, resulting in a population where anxiety, depression, and other mental health problems are coming. And the question now is, how to understand this problem? Now, we are really lucky because there are many ways, for example, by reading a book. There are so many books that talk about mental health right now. But which book should you read? Calm down, guys. I'm here to give you some of the recommendations. The first book that I'm going to recommend is Loving the Wounded Soul, Reason and Purpose of Depression Present in Human Life. Loving a wounded soul can provide more knowledge about depression, what causes it, and how to help it. The author raised the issue of depression, which is the topic about depression that is still a taboo topic for Indonesian people to talk about. With the depression experienced by the author directly, and with his background in the world of writing and psychology, this book deserves to be named a national bestseller. Written in easy to understand words, this book also anyone who reads it dives into his thoughts. Evidently, in this book, there are many scientific sentences that some people may not understand the meaning and significance of it. However, with a list of terms compiled by the author, it is very easy for readers to understand the meaning of a foreign word. This book is not easy to make readers feel bored because the scientific information provided will also be ripped with the author's personal experience. The most interesting part of this book is that people who are introvert or extrovert can experience depression. I also just found out that from the time we were in the womb, if our present was not won by our parents, it could be one of the factors of depression in our future life. Toxic relationship factor where we don't get praise, only anger from family, parents or brothers or sister can also be a trigger for depression because it makes the child feel inferior or feel that whatever he does is meaningless. And there is really good quote from the author of this book, it is the sun and moon shine in their own time and have their own admirers. The second book that I will really recommend for you is Philosophy Terrace. The book entitled Philosophy Teras is really heard, especially among young people today. The term teras comes from the Greek word store, which means portico. In this book, it was written that there was a philosopher named Zenon who liked to teach his philosophy on a columnar teras. Later, the term philosophy teras was used to facilitate the writer's stoic or stoic reference. The author of this book, Henry Manambiring, wrote this book and put it into a simple philosophical concept, starting from visiting a psychiatrist because he referred to his friends, he is known as an individual who is full of negative thinking. From someone full of negative thoughts, he now able to apply so much better life far from negative emotion. He was inspired to write this book while reading How to be a Stoic, written by Massimo Pigliucci. His eyes opened and found a therapeutic pathway without medicine that can be practiced for life, with a note of ongoing practice every day. Stoicism helped him to be more calm, peaceful, and able to control negative emotion. This book reminds me that there are some things that I can handle. This book is fascinating for me because several chapters discuss many concepts of stoicism such as premeditatio malorum or what the writer calls mental immunization, amor fati, and poverty practices. Premeditatio malorum is a technique for strengthening mentally by imaging all the unfortunate events that might occur in our life today and in the future, the worst thing that can happen. While Amor Fati teach us not only to accept events that are beyond our control, but also to love that destiny. 
finally, the practice of poverty. In my opinion, it is suitable to be a continuation of premeditation malorum. In premeditation malorum, we are invited to imagine things that can happen. The practice of poverty is to force that lowly possibility in our life so that we know what it's like to be in a position of distress. This can be done by fasting or doing digital detox. That's all for today's episode. Thank you for listening to our podcast. For all of you, just remember that you are not alone, guys. Thank you for being strong this far. Thank you for accepting everything you were great. Keep going. And if you need help, don't be hesitant to tell other people or ask for help from professional. Yeah. Stay tuned for the new episode and don't forget to follow us on Instagram, YouTube, and Spotify to always stay updated about our next episode. Save in this podcast, a podcast that can be your start nice of me. Goodbye.